going on guys it's wednesday it's the uh, beginning of my week and uh something really crazy uh, happened to me last night i was at clarissa's house just hanging out we we're watching a movie you know typical like you know typical night but and then happening was she ended up falling asleep and i was like you know what i'm gonna take an uber i'm gonna go home so i can work on some few projects and then get some sleep but i got hopped in the uber and i got here just to realize that i didn't have my house key so uh, I called Nico, which is one of my roommates, and I said, Nico, how long are you going to be? Because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of stuck out here. It's like midnight, you know? And then he was like, oh, dude, I work from 11 to 7 in the morning. So I'm like, he's out. So I call my other roommate, Nob. I'm like, Nob, like, where you at? You at work? Maybe you could drop off the key to me, something. He was like, nah, dude, I'm at my girl's house, blah, blah, blah. And he, she lives in a whole other city. So I'm like, damn. So not only did I have to pay for an Uber to get home, but also an Uber to get back. And uh, luckily, Nav, he's like new to Uber, so he uh, he has like a promo code where you get like five dollars off. So that I mean, that helped. It was like ten dollars each way, but you know, instead of spending twenty, I spent fifteen. But uh, after that, woke up, got some food. We went to like the Spanish spot, which is really really dope. Um, I don't really didn't film when I was eating because I don't know. But uh, right now, as you can see, like my room is a mess, and I think I'm gonna get cleaning to it. Um, I, I made a hat yesterday that I want to show you guys, and I kind of want to get your input on it, so uh, that way you guys can tell me, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. But, uh, yeah, like, these masks, man, like, um, even though they're kind of, like, they're, like, still brand new and still kind of, like, unorthodox, everyone I show, like, I, I'm, you know, I'm getting good, positive feedback from it, and I, I, every time I ask for feedback, I always ask the people that I know are going to be, like, really critical like my pops, my brother, my friends and stuff like that because, you know, they always steer me in, in the most honest direction and surprising, like, even my pops. Like, my pops are like, yo, like, that's different. That's kind of dope, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, you know what? Like, I'm going to try to run with it. And um, they're not for sale right now, if you guys are wondering, because um, I want to do it right this time. I want to I wanna do what they call, like, uh, 21 Days of Hype. And this is like a, this is a marketing model that I got from Christian Guzman, one of the YouTubers that I watch. And what he does right before his launch is he takes 21 days and he hypes up the products and stuff like that. You know, he, he, he uh, does the photo shoots and stuff like that and does like the Instagram posts and all that. And then that leads up to launch day. And, uh, you know, these are something that I, I personally can put my mark on. Uh, the hats, like I, I customize like... Mitchell and Ness hats and stuff like that. So they're not like 100% mine. This is going to be something that is 100% mine. I want to do it right this time. And hopefully with your guys' help, you guys can help me go in the right direction as well. And we can try to push this launch together. So right now I'm going to clean my room and then come back and hopefully have a nice, clean work environment. I'm over here watching YouTube videos. What is this one? I don't know, somewhere that's Halloween one. But uh, so I'm trying to work on this hat right here. I really like it. Let me focus on it. I really do like it. Um, I had these made as sample hats, so I had like really weird different colors being made. And I typically like to go with regular dark colors for myself and like ones I like to sell. So I had like a navy blue one that sold. I, I'm rocking the black one right here. This one is probably one of my favorite hats right now. You can see that it's kind of distressed. I really like this look, especially with that hats, because it just adds more character to it. and. It's, um, I, I do all the distressing myself, obviously. This is how the hat comes, you know, it's like a plain dad hat. Then I have it embroidered, and um, then I just, you know, add a character to my own hats. And I think that with my dad, my dad hat lineup, I'm going to start distressing all the hats because I just, I like the way it looks. It looks more rugged, it looks more fashionable, and maybe that's just my opinion, but you guys will let me know. But uh, as far as this one goes, the reason why I kind of went with the AK-47 is not any type of gang-related uh, innuendo or anything like that. I'm an avid gun owner and I like to train with guns and stuff like that. And the, uh, this is going to sound horrible, but the Mexican drug cartel, they really inspired me with this gold AK-47 because not only do they have a shit ton of guns, they, they customize them with like, like craftsmanship is number one on their mind. Like they, they have craftsmanship and then they have the functionality of the gun. So when I saw a gold AK-47, I, I fell in love with it. And I was like, you know what? Like, I really like what it symbolizes. Not necessarily drugs or the cartel in general, but just power and influence, money, uh, craftsmanship, art, and um, just my love for guns. So, uh, guys, it does not have anything to do with any type of drugs or any type of 
uh, illegal substances or violent activity. This is just what I like. And I just think it looks pretty cool. And if you could relate to it, dope. Again, I'm not a drug user, so I don't know about that kind of stuff. But as far as the pink one goes, I really wanted to do something a little different. I don't have any pink lambskin or pink python skin or anything like that. I did have some pink lambskin, but I don't have enough for the, like, the shape of the brim. So what I was thinking about doing was keeping this natural python skin on there just so it gives it some type of contrast and kind of you know breaks up the colorway so obviously i really like the pink because it's just a fun color it's really lively almost like summer like even though summer had just ended um i still like the uh the uniqueness of you know i just took in general the color pink uh this lamp on this python skin the natural it really does in my opinion kind of ground the whole design it it just really makes it very I don't know, in my opinion, wearable because it's not a solid color. And so with that being said, it can go with anything that you're really wearing, especially, you know, if you're going to be wearing any type of like luxury leather, like Python skin or anything like that, like you kind of want it to stand out a little bit. So if you're blending in way too much, like if, if this was just pink and I was wearing pink shoes or something like that, I think style wise, it really wouldn't make a lot of sense. But when you kind of break up the colors into more earth tones or grounded and just having darker colors it kind of contrasts between the light and the dark making it a lot easier for you to rock it with any type of shoes though a pair of jeans um a white or a black shirt I, I wear black shirts every single day so i'll probably be wearing this with a black shirt as well but as far as underneath goes that's that covers the top but man like what about underneath i was thinking about going with this white lambskin i'm not sure if you can see it because the way this lighting here is, you know, pushing up against it. You can't really see. I don't know. Maybe you can. I don't know. But I was thinking about either this or going with black. But I I use black with everything. And no other color of lambskin. I have yellow. I have green. I have red. That won't work with this kind of pink. So the only thing that I can possibly think of that will go will be these two. So, Guys, I'm probably going to end up rocking with this. I'm going to do the brim, of course, but I'm thinking about all my dad hats just to keep them affordable and just to keep them, you know, not oversaturating uh, kind of compared to my other designs. Keep the strap the same. I'm going to keep it just like this. I'm not going to swap it out for the python and lambskin strap that I typically do. And um, I don't know. See how that goes. The hat's done. It didn't take that long to make. And I really like the way it came out. Clarissa, she doesn't really like the, the colorway, but I'm really digging it. And uh, just so you guys can kind of see like how, it, how it'll look. I wear my, I like to wear my hats really low, like across like my eyebrow line, if this was like a, a flat brim hat. But since this is curved, I still like to keep like the sweatband like really low. I tuck my ears inside, that sounds kind of weird, but I like to wear my hats like this. And uh, just, so you, just so you can kind of see how it looks, I really like it. And uh, all I have to do right now is distress it, and I'm gonna kinda, kinda go ahead and show you guys how that's done. So when it comes to distressing a hat, it's really up to like personal preference. It's also very simple, and um, basically all I did, to be honest, was I went on YouTube, typed in how to distress jeans, and I just took that same application, put it on the hat. So um, there are different kinds of tools that you can use. I typically just use a pair of household scissors, and it seems to get the job done like very well. And uh, some people use, uh, blades to like for the brim and stuff like that and they go outside and find like a sharp rock you can do all of those but just for this kind of like look it's really simple it just uh it's i would say kind of time consuming because you think that you know purposely destroying your clothes would take like no effort at all but it actually does take a little bit of thought that goes into it uh as far as thought goes what you probably want to do is actually look at where you want the distress points to be at um as you can see on my black hat um, the bottom part was actually a mess up. I don't even know if you guys, if it's picking up on the camera, but it's actually a mess up and I could actually put my whole finger through it, but I really like the way it got like that. I don't know. Um, I really, I just really enjoy that aesthetic part of it. Um, all the other points like by, by like the seam lines and stuff like that, what you want to kind of keep in mind is where exactly a hat naturally might distress at or jeans like you every time you see someone with distressed jeans it's typically always by the knee because that's typically where the jeans would, would flex the most so obviously the hat isn't really doing much of flexing or anything like that so it's really up to you but I like to I'm probably gonna do around like the edges here and whatever I'm not sure but I'll kind of just show you guys what kind of goes into it
So all of the stressing is done. You guys can see how it looks just like on the head. That sounds kind of weird. But as you can see, just with a pair of scissors, you can get a nice distressed look. Let me focus on this thing real quick. Hold on. Yeah, so you can see all like the little uh, rips and tears in the hat. And like I said, it just gives it character. And um, I don't know, it's almost kind of like, you know, Kanye West kind of brought that style back with his style of clothing. And I really like this. And um, I don't know, I might make a pink mask to kind of go with it. That kind of seems to be my thing recently. But um, I really do like it. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or I might I might just sell it. I'm not sure. I might, I might throw it up on the side or or if, if you guys like it, you know, sh uh, shoot me a little message down in the comment section below. And who knows, I might I might give it away even. So, um, guys, if you guys like it, please give this video a thumbs up. Even if it's just for the hat, that'd be pretty dope. Um, my dad's calling me right now. So that wasn't my dad who called. It was actually my little brother who lives with my dad. And uh, he said, dude, I saw your video and I really like the, uh, the mask. I want you to make me one. So that feels pretty good. And um, he watches these videos, so I'm not going to tell you exactly how I'm going to make it. But I'm going to make something very special for him because he is into martial arts. And I think I have an idea of something that I want to make and send to him. And um, I know I, I can't tell him, yo, dude, don't watch my last video because he's definitely going to watch it. So guys, I can't tell you exactly what it is, but as soon as it's done and ready to send out, I'll vlog it. And then so that way you guys can tell me, hey, look, that looks cool. Or I don't know. He's going to like it anyway. I don't, I don't care. He's going to like it. Here he is. Oh, my show about to do work. Around season three of Walking Dead, when they first introduced Michonne, I was so captivated by the fact that she uses a katana that I actually started taking like sword fighting classes. <laughs> what actually looks? Boom! This is like our training sword, and it felt so cool to like learn how to use it. I got high ass ceiling. You have to hold it. Mm. 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 I'm gonna throw something. Yeah, but this is it, man. It's all made out of like hard ass, like cherry wood and shit. I don't know. I want to start doing this shit again. We're going out tonight and we're having a celebratory drink right now. And uh, I don't really go out too often, but these guys are like party animals, so I'm gonna try to keep up. Nav mm -hmm. isn't here right now, so we're gonna have to go pick him up, but I'm we're all gonna take this shot together. So if you drink it right now, you're gonna take it with us, alright? So, are we, are we toasting to something in particular? Yeah, this is What's, an adventure. We're toasting to an adventure tonight, to success, and... To everybody getting success. To, and hard, to hard work on the next 29 days of the launch. Damn, son. And the you you like look that? like the real scorpion, bro. Yo, but imagine some dope-ass contacts, though. Yeah, what? Like some all, Either red or all-white joints to match that? Okay. Gee, that'd be crazy. I'm just proud of my it's not tinted it's, though. All right, you want to get put over? Look, it's, get you can still see through it. Look. Paranoia. Paranoia. Paranoia.